Hello my lovely roses and welcome to Queen Bee's Hive where I give you sweet sunny videos. And today I will be finally showing you my Pandora Halloween necklace. I have been wanting to work on this for a while. If you guys didn't know, Halloween and fall is my favorite time of the year. So in this video I will not only be showing you my Halloween necklace, but my charms haul as well. So first part of this video is actually going to be clips that I filmed last year and that will be all my older charms. I was going to film this video last year but I never got the snake chain necklace and had to put my charms to the side and work on other designs but this year I was able to get the chain and was finally able to start working on my Halloween necklace so next will be the clips showing you all my older Halloween charms and these are the polished ribbon clips and rows the main reason I purchased these was because they reminded me of mummy wraps next charm is the skeleton girl charm I think she is really cute she has those big heart eyes and then she does dangle so it does look like she is dancing next charm I have here is the ghost charm Pandora likes to put a lot of hearts in their designs so you can notice here as you turn the ghost over that there is a heart underneath and I just love how they made him flowy so it looks more realistic. Next I have a few Muranos. I have the glittering sunset Murano and the reason I purchased this one is because it has some yellow and orange in it and it reminds me of candy corn. Next I have the purple matte Murano and I felt like this Murano was retired too quickly and then this Murano does have a rose plated core so it's a nice subtle way to bring in the rose accents. So now I will be showing you everything that I purchased this year. So the necklace I purchased for this design is the snake chain necklace in rose gold plating. I love that it does have the round clasp so it matches my Halloween bracelet that also has a round clasp. I did also get the longest size in the necklace and that is 19.7 inches. Now it is the charms haul part of this video. First charm I have here is the Game of Thrones dire wolf charm. I have never seen Game of Thrones and I don't plan on watching it. I just bought this charm because it looks like a werewolf or one of the werewolf pups from Hotel Transylvania. I did originally purchase this charm for my bracelet but then I decided it didn't go well with my bracelet and looked better on my necklace. Here it is paired with my skeleton girl and ghost charm and this is how all the charms look on my necklace so far. Next I did purchase two of the glow in the dark blue ghost charms. One was for my necklace and one was for my bracelet. As you guys saw I do have the original blue ghost charm in silver. I love this new updated version with the enamel and glitter detail and the fact it glows in the dark is a bonus. Next is the Nightmare Before Christmas Zero Charm. So this is him and his doghouse. There is orange enamel on his nose. The doghouse says zero with a dog version of skull and crossbones. Then on the back of the charm is some design engraved. I think it's either supposed to be a fence or maybe some grass. Here is how the two charms look on the necklace. I do purchase my charms throughout the year. I don't buy them all at once. So parts of this video is filmed over the year. You can see here how my necklace changed and how I designed the necklace as I've been adding charms. In this clip, I have Zero as my center, then my older and newer ghost charms are close to each other. Next, I did find the Haunted Mansion Hitchhiking Ghost Charm. On the front, we have the ghost, and I believe their names are Phineas, Ezra, and Gus. Then on the back, it says the Haunted Mansion. Here you can see how I updated my necklace with the Haunted Mansion Charm to balance out my Zero Charm. And then I already have a Pave Rose Gold Plated Spacer that I used in the middle of my necklace. And then the last Halloween charm I purchased this year was my Oogie Boogie charm. Luckily I got it before it sold out. So this is a button style charm with Oogie Boogie on the front with purple enamel as the background and then on the back the colors are reversed with the words Oogie Boogie in purple enamel and a neon green background instead. Next year I would really love for Pandora to make a 3D Oogie Boogie and maybe make him glow in the dark. That would be really cool. Then these next charms are not Halloween and they are ones that I already had but I couldn't resist since I bought Oogie Boogie. I have to pair him with the rose gold plated Lucky dice charms. I had purchased one of these dice a while back and the other dice was actually a gift from my friend. These are just so cute and I absolutely love designing with them and I really love how they look on the necklace. So as you see, this is my final design for my Halloween necklace. I have Oogie Boogie in the center with my lucky dice framing him. And then I have my dangle charms on either side, the Haunted Mansion Hitchhiking Ghost Charm and the Nightmare Before Christmas Zero Charm. Next to those, I have both my older and updated Boo the Ghost Charms. Then I have my Muranos to add more color, the Dark Purple Matte Murano and Sunset Murano. Next to those, I have my Werewolf and Skeleton Girl Charms. And lastly, I have my Mummy Wraps inspired rose gold plated clips. That was everything on my Pandora Halloween necklace. There was some really cute charms this year and I had fun designing my Halloween necklace. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and now I must be working to be a buzz away and I hope to see you guys real soon. Bye!